I found this vintage photograph of a landscape with what appears to be a windmill and water tower, among other vintage photographs of Brynathen. But I was pretty confused when I looked at this photograph. It appeared that that structure in the background might be the Academy of the New Church, but I just did not get it. Then Phil Farrar said, nope, that's the Academy of the New Church. Then Justin Odner pointed out that this structure is where New Church Live is, the former home of Ray and Sylvia Cooper and Locke and Dorothy Brown. And this structure over here is the former Bostock House, once owned by Locke and Jean Pitcairn and now by Jennings Durand. And I think the structure just to the right is 2771 South Avenue, the original Smith House. I'm not sure, but that's what I think. Here is what the Smith House looked like today. Please note the gable end. It appears that those two houses are very close, but in reality they are not, so we're talking about angles. Look how far apart the houses really are, with the Gunther's house in between. Now let's take another look at the New Church Live building, because that might really help us in solving this question as to from where the photograph was taken. Please note that this is a three-quarter view of this house, and you can see two sides. We see the New Church Life building like this. Here is an aerial photograph of that building from Google Earth. In the original photograph, we can see the left side and the bottom side of this structure. The line of sight in the original photograph looks something like this. If we extend that line of sight, down to the southwest, we'll cross Alden Road and end up roughly at the top of Fetters Mill Road. Now we draw another line that sneaks between 2771 South Avenue and Jennings Duran's house and intersects with our original line. Those two lines intersect at a point directly behind the home of Tom and Sherry Holland on Alden Road. As you can see, the Holland residence is just a stone's throw from the bottom of the hill of the property of the church on Huntington Pike. Now I'm going to draw one more line to make sure that our view of Benade Hall at the Academy of the New Church is roughly correct. So from that point I draw another line. You can see it to the farthest on the right in this photograph. And that line extends up to Benade Hall and shows roughly the same view that we see in the original photograph. So that's my theory about where the photographer was standing when he took this photograph of good old vintage Bryn Athen.